Hey, First Family, it's Pastor David here. Go ahead and grab you a cup of something warm and yummy, and let's talk about some go and tell stuff. All right, let me just go ahead and address right from the bat the absence of my hat. Um, it was a little bit of a discombobulated morning uh, today, and I actually walked out the house, house without a hat. So thank you for your concern. I know uh, it's uh, weird for some of you to see me without a hat, but there is a head up there, uh, and you can see from this head why, in fact, I wear a hat. So I feel a little bit like Linus without his, uh, his blanket <laughs> today. Hopefully, hopefully I'll make it through. Um, I will. I'm kidding. Um, but today, I wanted to talk to you about our latest sermon series in Hebrews, uh, which is uh, Jesus is Greater, and the Go and Tell Challenge that accompanies this. Now, this is something that I sat down with Pastor Josh, um, uh, I guess maybe a month ago, and said, you know, hey, now that now that you're here, and now that you're kind of planning more long term as far as where we're going to be as a church in God's Word, uh, what do you think about the idea of a Go and Tell Challenge to accompany each new sermon series. And so we've kind of talked that through and decided, hey, yeah, let's let's do that. And we'll start here with this sermon series in in Hebrews. And so um, Pastor Josh has talked about that uh, there with the very first sermon, uh, talking about uh, the glory of God. And um, I'll mention it here in just a minute, but I wanted to kind of go into more of the why. Um, why, why do a Go and tell challenge for a sermon series. Is it just kind of something uh, to kind of tack on? Is it a peripheral? I mean, what's what's really the point? Uh, well, really, we have some very specific reasons for wanting to to do that, and one of the main ones is really kind of comes out of what we see in God's Word there in James chapter one, beginning in verse twenty two. Let me let me read that uh, for us. It says, "But be doers of the word." and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Because if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like someone looking at his own face in a mirror. For he looks at himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of person he was. But the one who looks intently into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer who works, this person will be blessed in what he does. And so here we see James really giving us this, this directive to not just consume information for information's sake, but to take in the word that is proclaimed to us, and the word that we, we study on our own and in uh, like Bible study fellowships and things like that, and then to put it into action, to actually do the word. In other words, as the word lives in us, we live out the word. And so we want you as members of FBCW to not just come on a Sunday morning and hear God's word proclaimed and just sort of take it away, um, having sort of raised up your, your Bible knowledge a little bit more um, and a little bit more each Sunday. Uh, that is great. The knowledge is wonderful. We, we can do so much with that. God can really use that to grow us. But there is always to be a response and an action to hearing and consuming God's word. In fact, God's word itself there in Isaiah talks about how God's spoken word, when he gives his word, uh, it also is intended to have a certain response. He says that goes out and accomplishes at work and it doesn't return void. And so we don't want the word of God to come into our hearts and lives and do nothing. And so the go and tell challenge is really a way to say, how can we be very specific based on the overall theme of this upcoming sermon series to challenge the members of the church to put their faith in action, to put the word of God into action in the daily rhythms of disciple making. And so for the book of Hebrews, uh, what we chose was the following challenge. Find at least two people, at least two, you don't have to stop with two, but at least two people over the weeks that the sermon series is running 
and have a conversation with them about how Jesus is greater. And there's a number of things that you can uh, choose to talk about. And really, you want to be listening for what people are talking about, how you're seeing them live their lives, interact, what are their concerns, and then use what you're hearing from God's Word on Sundays to then point them to Jesus as being the greater version of whatever it is that they're perhaps chasing after or are worried about or seem um, preoccupied with. Okay, and so one of the great ways to do that is to get the sermon card uh, that our creative team has, has made up. I love these. I keep it in my Bible so that I can know what's coming up. I know many of you do. And on it, it has a list of all the titles of the sermons in which Sunday uh, Pastor Josh will be preaching from those. And so you can look ahead and you can see based on the sermon series, what are some of the topics that I need to kind of have in my mind as I'm interacting with neighbors and coworkers and friends and families, uh, 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 parents of, of, my, of my kids' friends and things like that, so that um, you can let God's Word help to give you um, just, just a, a word of truth to speak to that person, to show them that Christ is greater. And, and there's a number of things on here to me that, um, you know, to use the analogy, it's like lobbing a softball. And it's easy to hit because they are such uh, typical topics that people talk about. They're just, they're part of the, the daily, um, you know, ethos of living. And so, you know, this past Sunday, Pastor Josh talked about rest and how Jesus is that ultimate rest. Uh, that is such a big topic and big industry, mind you, uh, in our culture today, people searching for rest. Uh, when you look down this list, you see things like knowledge, hope, uh, work, faith, uh, love, life, truth. I mean, these, these are all very accessible, easy topics to, to get into conversations with someone. Uh, and you will see in their lives that they are trying to find um, hope. They are trying to chase down uh, what does it really mean to, to, to work and to thrive and, and to, to do things in this world? Uh, what, is, what is life all about? What is the meaning, the purpose of it? Uh, what is love these days? That is a very big topic. Uh, and what is truth? As we live in a post-truth world and people wrestle with that, I mean, these are all things that are right there on the surface of the public conscience for us to engage with. Now, others may be a little bit more challenging. You know, Christ is the better priest, uh, covenant, sanctuary, sacrifice. Hey, I understand those are a lot more tied to our theological framework as believers, and it may be a little bit difficult to, to connect from A to B, but that's why we want you here on Sunday mornings to engage with the sermon so that you can know how to connect A to B in those areas, not just the ones that are easy. So I think uh, that the Go and Tell Challenge is super doable. And we want you to go ahead and really be thinking and praying through who are those two people at least that may be struggling with some of these things on this list. And they're looking in all the wrong places. They're chasing after the wrong things. And they need to know that Jesus is greater. Jesus is better. Jesus is the best. He is sufficient. And just have those conversations. Use your own story uh, as well as some of the things that are shared uh, in the sermons uh, to help you have those conversations. And so uh, that's, that's the whole gist of the Go and Tell Challenge for the sermon series in the book of Hebrews. Now, one more thing on these cards. Uh, since I have it out, I'll give a, give a quick plug to our app. Did you know our church actually has an app? It does. And you can scan. I'll uh, zoom in right here and hold it there for a moment. If you're uh, not watching on um, your phone, you can actually go ahead and scan that and download the app. You're welcome. 
Uh, it's a great app. Uh, it has uh, ways for you as members to be interact with information. It also has all the sermons. So if you want to go back, maybe you missed one, you're out on vacation, you were sick, whatever it was, uh, or maybe you just loved it and you want to hear it again, uh, you can go in there. All the sermons are there. You can watch them or actually listen to them like a podcast. Uh, I actually did that the other day. I was in and out of all three worship services so much. I didn't catch all of Pastor Josh's sermon. I went back on the app and I listened to it the next morning and uh, really enjoyed it. But there's also some other some great things, uh, including a digital copy of God's Word and the reading plan that goes along with the, the Hebrews uh, series. So anyway... That's free, all right? That's that's lanyap, as we, as we say in Louisiana. But I just wanted to just take a moment to talk about the Go and Tell Challenge, why we're doing it, and, and how you can take the, the sermon series week by week, let it begin to live in you, and then as you live that out, take that truth and to share it with someone. Uh, it's part of building those long-term relationships with those that God has put in our path. Uh, our family members who aren't believers, our neighbors, our classmates, our co-workers, uh, the people we hang out with in play and recreation and things like that, because they need to hear God's truth. They need to be pointed to something that is greater than what it is that currently uh, holds their heart captive. And let's point them to Jesus. And so uh, I can't wait to hear some of the stories that you share back with us of how you have responded to this sermon series, Go and Tell Challenge. So I'm praying for you as you pray for those in your life to share this truth with. And I also, myself, am praying about who can I share this with uh, in, in my circles of influence. So let's be faithful to not just taking God's word, not be, be hearers of it, but also doers of God's word as we make disciples, as we go and tell.